Oh, man. God, I've been looking forward to, har to farming all day. What a long day. Without eight hours of farming behind me. Anyway, sorry for the late, late, late start, but we can probably start the cotton harvest today. Man, the Greek, uh, the Greek music on this is phenomenal. How am I liking Dan on the Traders? I haven't even started watching it yet. I don't know how to watch it. Alright, if I recall, we had a little bit more weeding to do, right? Needed to do some more weeding. And uh, grass one has been harvested and now needs to be... Um, we've got to lime it up. Have to lime, lime, lime her up. And then we got a sprayer as well after the uh, after the other stuff is done. Jim, I saw you there. How's your uh, how are your BGs going? I'm I'm hovering at around 6,400 right now. I, I drop down and then I climb back up and drop down, you know, one of those. Yeah, I get knocked down and then I get back up again and you're never going to bring me down. Right. Let's get this guy deployed to Canola 3 first. Yes. We're not selling anything today. It is, uh, of course, September. There's nothing to sell today. If we, we could sell wood if we really wanted to, but I don't think I want to sell all of my wood. We'll hang on to it. buy another uh, another mulcher I definitely did buy another one did I or did I did I buy another mulcher no could be out here in one of these fields if I if I did right I need another one start getting some of the stuff for tomorrow ready we need to multi-tool mulching <laughs> I mean I'm Getting a bit ahead of myself because <laughs> I don't even think we're finishing this harvest today, but still, still. goes. How's this guy doing? Yes. Good job, mate. Good job. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> How much silage do I have on hand right now? 518,000 liters of silage. In January, that's going to be worth more than uh, what it currently is, 85,000 bucks. It's good. How's my day? It's pretty busy. I'm glad it's, uh, I'm glad the busy part's over. I mean, there's always more to do with kids and stuff, but, uh, but I mean, yeah, that's good. I had to go to the dentist. I hadn't had a checkup for a long time, but it's all fine. My teeth are all good. I had a clean as well. You know when you go to the dentist and you have your teeth cleaned and, like, in between your teeth hurts? They feel all weird. I have that right now. Yeah, I had to get some new dentures, yeah. The other ones, uh, I bit into an apple last night and the other ones got stuck in there. I couldn't get them out. No, I don't floss much, if at all. I, I, I find it such a pain in the ass, I hate it. I, got, I have big fingers. It's, like, so hard to floss. I know you can get those little, like, toothpick ones with the things or whatever, but... I don't know. I'm, I've been pretty lucky. Like, I don't even really floss and... It's very rare that I have problems with my teeth. I, I hadn't been to the dentist for two years and my teeth are fine. They ask you questions while you have a big tube in your mouth? Uh, not really, like... My dentist... Uh, my dentist is, uh, is, is really good. I have a good dentist. She's nice. She's got, like, uh, she had, like, um... Uh, like a dental assistant and then another one that was I think training and the whole time they were um, cleaning my teeth they were talking about um, how beautiful uh, Ariana Grande is but apparently she's very skinny now this was the, the entire topic of conversation she has big she's got big thick eyebrows because she's Latina and but she's gone way too skinny but she is she is so beautiful. She's so gorge. This is what three people decided to talk about while they were sucking fluids out of my mouth with a tube and getting all the gunk out between my teeth. No, they didn't talk about cotton farming once. They didn't talk about the price of eggs. I can't believe it. Yeah, and I couldn't even talk. They were talking about, they, were, they said they like Adam Sandler, they think he's hilarious. I couldn't even, I couldn't even uh, join in with all my Adam Sandler stories. I had so many as well. I'm sitting there with a fucking tube in my mouth. I recently watched a, a, an Adam Sandler classic, which, honestly, watching Billy Madison again, I mean, the last time I watched Billy Madison was maybe in, like, 1997, when I still thought it was really funny. Watching Billy Madison in, in the year of our Lord, 2024, it has aged a bit. There is, there, there's a point in the movie where a kid actually drops a hard R as well. Again, something that was quite acceptable in the 90s. Or so we thought, but not so much now. Jim, it's true, I have been online for 10 minutes, and well, now it's 11 minutes and 3 seconds as I say this. The Adam Sandler shtick has gotten old. Yeah, the whole Shabadooby stuff, I, I, I don't go in for at all now. I think when I was a kid and he was on Saturday Night Live, I thought it was hilarious. But, like, I be, having said that, though, I loved him in Uncut Gems, and I, I thought he was great in Hustle as well, you know? Like, I think just when Adam Sandler just acts like a normal person, he's actually quite likable, quite funny. He's got a funny yelling voice still. I think his yelling voice is still still holds up. But you know, like in Billy Madison when he's like, uh, "It's my first day at school," 
uh, you know, seeing that, like, oh man, I had to, I had to, I had to leave the room for a sec. It was, it was a really tough one to watch. These fields look pathetic now that I got the big one. I know we're gonna probably join these uh, onto the big one eventually as well. I don't think we'll ever be able to really do anything with this spot here, so we'll probably just always plant trees where these uh, where this rock is. Uh, we could try to flatten it out and, and repaint the terrain, but I I think keeping some of the terrain. I think we want to keep some of it, you know. I don't know how Adam Sandler sounds in English, but his voice actor here is great, so you can actually like all movies if the plot isn't dumb. Well, I mean, the most uh, most plots to Adam Sandler movies are, are pretty dumb as well. I think uh, I think my cutoff point for Adam Sandler is probably Big Daddy. I watched Big Daddy, and I thought it was okay, but I never saw, I never even watched Little Nicky, which I thought just looked really bad. I haven't seen Click. Um, what was that one? Was it, was it Anger Management? Anger Management with uh, Jack Nicholson? Yeah, Happy Gilmore was, was fine. I well, I mean, I, I say was fine. I haven't seen it recently, so I don't know if it still holds up, but I remember some of Happy Gilmore being pretty funny. Anger Management was... was Oh, yeah, so that wasn't a great one. Mr. Deeds? I don't think I saw Mr. Deeds either. Did Mr. Deeds come out after Big Daddy or was that before? Love I Waterboy I can't remember in the Sandler timeline when Waterboy came out. I feel like uh I feel like it came out long ago where long long ago enough where I was probably still a teenager when Waterboy came out. What year did it come out? I wanna say Waterboy came out in like ninety eight. Billy Madison was ninety five, so Happy Gilmore would have been what, like ninety six? I don't, I don't, I'm sure I didn't see Mr. Deeds. I can't remember it at all. 99 for Waterboy, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I, I think I probably watched it. I don't know if I liked it, though. I don't even remember it. He did, he, he did like the Adam Sandler voice a lot in that one, though, right? He basically played... Wasn't the Waterboy, like, a, almost like a bit of, like, a Forrest Gump character? Adam Sandler boy plus Cajun. Was Waterboy the uh, the uh, Adula Omdungara? Was that was that was that, or was that the one where it's like um, that's a huge bitch? Which one's that one from? Where's the... That's a huge bitch from. Is that from uh, Waterboy as well? I remember that. But I mean... Man, it was... That's so random. It's just like... Let's give Rob Schneider one thing to say. And then he says it 20 times throughout the, the movie. I remember Deuce Bigelow being kind of funny though. Deuce Bigelow... Kind of funny, but maybe like also problematic because it was like like all the all his clients had like uh, varying illnesses and and stuff
All right, we have to spray some fertilizer now. So I have to go and fertilizer in this. Big Daddy was your favorite? The only thing I remember from Big Daddy, and I'm not even sure why, is the is the whole Scuba Steve thing. Ugh. I'm pretty sure I did not like Big Daddy. Like, just, just thinking about it now. I'm, I'm fairly certain that that was not, not a great Sandler movie for me. What is this? Is this herbicide as well? Yeah, it is. I need some, I need some fertilizer. Nikki, I I couldn't even tell you. I've not. I've never seen it. I think when it when it was being advertised, it just looked so bad. I just didn't even watch it. He was uh, Punch Drunk Love was good though. I like that. I remember watching that and liking it. Uncut Gems is very good. Yeah, I love that. I thought that was really good, but. It was it was good because Adam Sandler just uh, again wasn't wasn't playing either uh, like himself or some mildly disabled person, which seemed to be like most of his movies in the nineties. Yeah, Hustle is really good. Hustle, I thought Hustle was great. I was surprised actually. I watched. I started watching and I thought. Well, I don't even know what to expect here, but it, it was, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It's very a very watchable movie. Do -do 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 All right, we're almost done. You know, movie's good snatch. Isn't that have um, Brad Pitt in it? I've never seen that one. I remember it when it, I remember it coming out and people saying that it was pretty good. Was that Guy Ritchie? Snatch? There was a whole bunch of, uh, he did a whole bunch of movies, um, around the same time, right? Lockstock and Snatch, and was the other one Layer Cake or something? Lickcock and Two Stroking Bollocks. <laughs> Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Rock and Rolla, I don't know if I've seen that one. Layer cake? I did I haven't seen. I haven't seen any of the John Wick movies. What about wasn't Guy Ritchie in uh, was it like the transporter or something? He also did Madonna? I mean so did Tupac. And so did uh, Sean Penn. Dennis Rodman and No, I didn't watch the Prison Architect 2 trailer. didn't watch it. I should watch it, but I haven't done it. I should watch it right now. Is it really that good? Okay. Prison. Architect 2. Prison. Oh, here, here we go. It's happening. Prison Architect 2 announcement breakdown. I can't even... Okay, I found the official trailer. This is the official announcement trailer. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just uh, full screen this. All right, you ready?
Oh man. I mean, it's a short trailer. Uh, it, it might be good. It might be good. Do you know what it, what it's giving me vibes of? Which is is not really a good thing. Just based on the trailer, it's giving me um, two point vibes. You know, like did you see the, the like the, the the map progression stuff for the campaign? I'm, I'm supposing it's the campaign or whatever. I mean, if it, two point two points fine, but it's it's it they they simplify a lot of stuff, right? It's just I think prison the original prison architect is so great because there's so much there's a lot of like depth to the uh, to the systems and stuff. I hope that the second one maintains that, you know. Yeah, the constant restart, like two point, is uh, is not great. I, the, I mean, again, the first one's quite good because you can, uh, you know, if you want to do, if you want to do like it, everything in one giant prison, you can. If you want to just have like a max sec prison, you can. Yeah, I mean, you can even buy more of the map and just have multiple wings that are separate for you. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if it if it's like two point, it is going to be. You know, every every new town introduces some new mechanic, but none of the mechanics are like overly in depth. You know what I mean? Like, it, like it, it, it I, I don't know. It risks sort of aiming towards like a like maybe like a like a younger demographic, but like a like a like a way too young demographic. Like two point does. Like two point. My my son played the two point games when he was like ten. And he loved them, you know, because they're simple. Like they're they're really easy to get into. They're quite funny, and stuff. But like, I think if you want, like, you know, lots of uh, lots of big complicated systems and lots of fine tuning and stuff, it doesn't look based on the trailer like it'll be that. But who knows? I mean, we'll see. Project Hospital was great because it was. They had it, it was uh, it was easy enough to get into, but then you know there there's there's a lot of complexity like under the hood sort of thing, right? And it looks fucking great too, and the sound effects are fucking good too. No, oh, it's not. I'm that's not. I'm a serious gamer, and I need a serious game. I just like games that with the, with some depth, you know. Like I mean, I. It, I mean, it depends, I suppose. Like, I mean, I've played a lot of games that have no depth. But management games, you have to, right? You 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 want to have like some some systems and some mods and shit like that. Was my Project Hospital playthrough good? Um, phew, I don't even know if the VOD still exists. It was a while ago. I don't know if it was good. I enjoyed it though. It was fun. We I played it a, a lot actually. I remember playing it quite a bit. Time to do it again soon. I think um, I think the people that made Project Hospital are working on something else. There hasn't been any new content for Project Hospital since the. Uh, quarantine, like infectious diseases stuff. Yeah, I know I've played a lot of simple games, but I think with Prison Architect, I'm used to it being... The, I'm used to the first one and the, the depth of the first one, so it would be tough if the second one didn't match that or improve on it you know is all I'm saying
I know it's crazy to have a, an opinion, isn't it? Just wild. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, he's fine, yeah. Fat tea. I should watch John Wick, they're really well done. Oh god, I don't know. I think I've seen a bit of maybe the first one. It's, uh, it, is the whole movie somebody breaks into his house and kills his dog and he just goes off on one? Because I, I saw the part where somebody breaks in and kills his dog. But I didn't watch the rest of it. It was on TV. He keeps buying dogs and they keep dying. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You don't watch it for the play, you just watch it for the cool action scenes, is that, is John Wick a, like, uh, you watch it for all the fighting and the gunplay? I like the look of that, that action movie that was a GoPro on somebody, somebody's, uh, helmet, I guess, and he was, like, jumping between trains and doing all these crazy stunts, but I, I heard that it's not actually that good. Hardcore Henry. Is that it? I used to, I mean I used to watch action films uh, like in the in the 80s and 90s. I, I feel like they're probably a lot better now. But remember like the original Predator and uh, and like Rambo and um Terminator 2. <laughs> uh oh. Starship Troopers is pretty good. I like that. Lethal Weapon. Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard was pretty good. Is Tron Legacy the, the 3D one? The 3D Tron? If that's the one, I did go and see that in the in the movie theaters. For a works do. We went to see Tron Tron in 3D for a works do once. Arnold or Stallone? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't care. I can. I can. I can take or leave them both. Honestly. I, the Fifth Element. Yeah, I like to. Uh, I, I like Bruce Willis action movies in the 90s. God, I, I saw a picture of Bruce Willis recently, which I feel like it wasn't really a picture that anyone should see of Bruce Willis. It seemed very personal because he is very ill. And uh, it was just, it's really sad. He is, he's, he is really quite ill, yeah.
I can't, um, I'm, I'm not sure what, um, illness he has, but it, from what, from what I understand, it's, it, it's a bit like, um, like dementia or something, right? Or, or maybe it is, it is like dementia, I'm not sure, but it, I think it's something like that. Temporal dementia. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. All right, I think all the weeding is done. The harvesting is done. Grass one is prepped again for. I think we. I think we can. Um, I think we can cut it again in november maybe december it might be yellow in december or it might not progress because it's december and it stops growing we might get another harvest but we should probably harvest it again anyway regardless but september is done which means that it's cotton harvesting time What's up, Bruce? 8,982 from the windmill. <laughs> Cotton one is a go. We are going to lease two cotton harvesters to help with this. It should go a lot faster. If we lease two cotton harvesters, it's going to cost us about 50 grand. But the amount of money that we make off this field, it cuts into it a little bit. But I think it's still worth it, right? The last one pre-production made 120k. We still have loads of it left over from last year, too because we can uh, upgrade our production. In uh, Fabrica, we still have 68,000 liters of it left. Okay, we're gonna turn on automatic drop on these. And then let's get the job ready. So we are going to create a job. We want to create the job here. Starting here. We're going to do three tools with one headland. No bypass. So we don't need one here. The game might crash. Apologies. If it does. No, it is not. It's generated it fine. It should take a lot less time with three, right? So this job now, left one, center, or right. So this guy can do left. Actually, this guy can start on left. Copy this. Um, and then let us lease cotton cotton technology Baylor's cotton technology we'll lease this guy let's paste this on here and Let's get this guy starting on the center from first waypoint. Oh, shit. And we go in here and we'll lease this one as well. Great. Turn on automatic drop. 
paste this. Start working from the right first waypoint. Okay, good. Three harvesters. Uh, two of them leased, unfortunately, but next year we'll try to buy some more, I think. We'll be good, right? Course play, I think, is pretty great. Yeah, I, I like it. I use it a lot. There he goes. He's, he's making a start. You got the other one coming up here too. So you see, this guy is doing the center and this one's gonna make a start on the, on the right. We'll have this done in no time. I hope. How long is it gonna take this guy to do his, uh, his 43 minutes it's not bad it's not bad at all it's pretty bad it's still a long time isn't it oh my god so much bread still Alright, let's pick up our stuff and go drop it off at the warehouse. I don't think we're selling anything this month. But then we have um, all the stuff coming up in January to sell, right? clothing pallets. The, uh, the clothing, uh, pickup is so awkward, eh? It's, like, nestled in between these houses. You can just about get it. big poop that wouldn't flush so you put on rubber gloves to, to break it apart I I have but I've never done the rubber rubber glove thing um, my my trick is usually just keep flushing and after you've kept flushing and flushing and flushing and still doesn't go down I just leave it and then come back like an hour later and just try more flushing I mean I think that's happened to me maybe two or three times in, in my whole life. I'm 26 years old, so I don't know how that averages out, but... toilet papers. Yes. Man, these these paper this paper roll is 
really good money. Really nice. product in there so much product all right uh in november we will sell our eggs there's not many of them left but we will sell what's left and that that'll be us done with eggs and we will sell all of our bread in january and hopefully we'll have produced all of the bread by then otherwise we'll have some bread left over until the following January. But we have 80,000 pounds worth of bread on hand. We have 90,000 pounds worth of silage on hand. Um, we have 43,000 pounds worth of straw that we can sell in January as well. Bread, fabric we're not selling. Clothes, we have 97 grand's worth, which we'll sell in May. And we'll sell honey in March we currently have 24 grand's worth and we have 136 grand's worth of canola oil which will all be sold in December and then furniture in July so we we have money we're sitting on money and we have money in the pipe five by five there's some good money laying around the farm just gotta sell it when it's the best time to sell it. That's right, Dowie. The money is on its way. It's making its way. Let's drop this here. And we'll collect up all the wool. what day of the week it is <laughs> oh yeah look at that look at these guys go that's fucking great don't say the word child go wild oh, i can't wait i am excited as well i can't wait to see what happens These guys do not need to be unloaded for quite some time, so I will start filling up some of this stuff. Jazz is going to unravel Paul. Oh, man, come on. Are you He's got to just stay the course, I feel like. I, what, he's, what he's saying is just making so much sense, but he's just got to convince the non-believers, you know? I don't, I, I, I don't think Jazz is going to blow it. And I honestly think Paul will be scared to murder him because he has been talking to a lot of people about Paul. So they're going to have to try to set him up to be banished, but... I just, I don't think people, he's not on the radar at all, Jazz, so it's, it's, it's a, I think it's a, it's a bit of a thorn in, in Paul's side, really. 
that he'll probably just be in it for quite some time still. And Paul will just get increasingly stressed about it, you know. There's a lot of logs, yeah, you're right. We've been busy. gonna have three bales out pretty much at the same time in that field once they're ready. Man, come on, look at this. That's so cool. You like that, Dowie? I don't even need uh, Allied High Command or German High Command. I got my. I'm doing my own High Command. I got my own little army of robots. You're so close to catching up on all the farming videos. It only took you two weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for watching them. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Films, thank you so much for the raid. What's up, Raiders? You join us at such an exciting time. I'm lying. 
<laughs> this game is really boring. I'm trying to make a billion dollars in this game. It's not going well. I do have three cotton harvesters working uh, together, though, to get the job done. Look at that! I have cut every tree from around here. Every single one is gone. Well, I think we're gonna. I think a, a billion in a, it has to be in assets. Honestly, like we're never gonna have a billion in cash. I don't think it's possible. Well, I don't know what the current value is because there's no way to check, unfortunately. We, we have multiple millions worth of stuff for sure. I mean... The only two things that are currently leased at the moment, and that's just to get this one specific job done, are two of those harvesters. Everything else is uh, all owned. We have tractors, harvesters, trailers, oh, field tools, you name it. We got tons of shit. Yeah, having some sort of uh, mod for net worth would be really cool. I don't know if there's one that exists, though. We must have, uh, we must have a couple of these spit out by now, right? Or am I wasting my time here? Oh my god, they're not even close. Stay parked up here until the until the time is right. Yeah. Horseplay um, um, does the uh, the lane skipping for all of them. Yeah, it's pretty clever stuff, isn't it? I'll start mulching. We're gonna have to get in here with uh, the cultivators as well. We got two of them. Shouldn't take too long. And then we got to um, plant. Are we planting uh, today? Actually, I'm not sure. When do we plant this field? This field gets planted in uh, February. We'll plant in February.
Yeah, we're gonna need mul multiple mulchers for the uh, for the big canola field. You're right. I don't think I can afford another one right now, but we'll make that a priority once we get some money. We've got uh, we got lots of uh, sales coming up, so shouldn't be too bad. Get get another mulcher. Well, this mulcher is a lot better than the other one. The small mulcher we were using for a while. You can't wait to see all those white t shirts flying off the loop. Yeah, same. I can't wait. Uh, we've already made uh, some pretty good white t-shirt sales. We sold a bunch last uh, last year. We'll have even more to sell this year. We still have um, tons of uh, cotton from last year's harvest as well, so we'll have even more now. Spend some money upgrading the uh, spinnery and the tailor shop. Eight million pairs of white t-shirts and one pair of blue jeans. That's all you need. Uh, jeans, you don't, uh, you don't have to wash as often. But with your white t-shirt, you might want to wear like three brand new ones a day. Every time one gets a little bit sweaty, do like John Travolta does with his Armani shirts. Just chuck it in the bin. Just chuck it in the bin and put on a fresh one. He doesn't fuck around, that guy. could hose down your jeans in the summer. You can also climb into a bath with your jeans and it'll make them uh, more skin tight. That's what they used to do back in the day. You can do that with cowboy boots as well. Okay, that I did not know. That's good info. Is there like a is there like a like a like a a cool word for cowboy boots? Like, do they call them something special, or do they just call just say my boots? Like, it, like do they call them like my you know like you know like sometimes with shoes you can say like my my kicks or like my shit kickers for cowboy boots? Put on your shit kickers and kick some shit. bales
Your grandmother called them shit kickers and she was raised on a farm with 15 siblings? Fuck. Imagine having 15. Imagine having more than three kids. Jeez. 15 kids? that family that had like 200 kids it wasn't 200 though was it, it was like 23 or something <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little the family in the UK with like 21 kids yeah it's a lot of kids that's the one some of these. Oh my god, look at this. They all ejected like around the same point as well. George Foreman has 12 kids and all five of his boys are called George? Yeah. That does seem like a pretty George Foreman thing to do. Yeah, you can eject bills that aren't full size. Yeah, so if they've got a little bit left over at the end, we'll have uh, some some smaller bales. They still look the same, but they're just uh, they're just not 100% bales. But you can we can still jam them in here. It's fine. can't do that on the round bale uh, harvester how do those ones come out they just they just plop out when they're ready they plop out round is there is there a um, a vehicle that can pick them up 10 10k, but it has to be full. All right. So we don't want to lease those ones. These ones are fine to lease because we'll get all the cotton no matter what, right?
You're watching. You watched this stream earlier of the Farm Sim League Season Five tournament. They were going wild for that shit in the UK. I haven't watched any of that. Is is it Season Five? Holy crap! Is it actually good? Are the are the people who do it are they incredible at it? off the grass I, yeah it is growing actually I should keep off of it having said that though it is just grass crazy how efficient the people are in it. I suppose they have to be to uh, to compete, right? They don't want to waste a single second of time. They don't even smash a single egg? Alright. I that now I don't believe you. Yeah, I will watch it. I, I didn't even uh, didn't even think to watch it. I will watch that. Sounds great. I like stuff like that. so lost today you had to actually work because you didn't have the sweet funk music playing in the background and somebody inefficiently farming his butt right off one thing that we haven't done a lot of on this farm is sell our um, our, our yields we've done a lot of production right which I think is just it makes more money but we've never really had to sell. Early on, we sold a couple of harvests, but not much, really. This is going to be a lot of shirts. You're right. This is going to be a lot of shirts. And I'm here for it. I'm here for that big t-shirt sale. A big t-shirt sale in the sky. Check the sales today. 
It's just a mower. Um, what do we want? A mulcher. You live in 34? I'm coming to get you very soon. 34 will be mine. Cotton one will expand. T-shirts will be sold. White tees. We're the, we're the biggest supplier of white t-shirts. It ties into the, the, the king of retail universe. on the news that King Charles is going into a uh, hospital to have an operation. Uh, he's got an enlarged prostate. Do you think he, that he would have had to have a, a camera in his, his dick hole and maybe also the uh, stapler gun up his ass too? Like I did? I feel like if I met him in real life we could talk about it. You know? Get that ghastly device out of my ass! Me and Chucky could talk about it. Hey, I know how it goes. I'll tell you what. Um... Peeing blood is not uh, is not fun. It's uh, it is very worrying, and it happens after you have your your prostate biopsied. And there's only one thing worse than peeing blood, and that's jizzing blood, which also happens. Ugh. You're having a vasectomy tomorrow? Flax had one. I haven't heard much about it since. I heard the whole story of him getting uh, a vasectomy. I, I don't think it's so bad, honestly, from the sounds of it. There's a little bit of recovery time, but... had sex at least three times that I know of yeah I think we're not sure how many of my kids are actually my wife's boyfriends but sorry I can't help it I'm a known sex haver I I can't hide it any longer I know, it's gross. I was worried the whole time that I was going to have cooties, but... Smulching does not take very long, does it? It's pretty good. I mean, this is a huge field, too. We've got this vent. This fin goes. It's got some HP behind it.
Well, I think um, I think this is uh, what we're going to do every year for the cotton harvest because it goes so fast when you have multiple machines, right? We can either buy them or we can just lease them because the, the cost of leasing them doesn't eat into our profits much at all, really. If we really wanted to save the money over the long term, we could just buy a couple more harvesters, but I think three is a, a great number for this field. And it looks awesome too when they're when they're all working together. How are we doing on the billion and wealth? Well, I don't have I don't have um, anywhere near a billion in in liquidity, but asset wise, we must have a couple of million by now. We have about a million bucks worth of products sitting in warehouses as well. Yeah, land. We've got lots of lots of uh, money in land as well. Start a farm in real life to make the real big bucks. Uh, no thanks, no thanks. I just want to sit in my garage and play computer games all day and make the big bucks. The wind turbine, 750k. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a while for it to pay off, but the return's still not not actually that bad. Some months in the winter, it's it's pretty good. It'll take a couple of years to pay it off, but uh, that's kind of realistic as well. I mean, I know, Alan True is back 1st of February. I thought that they were um, getting rid of him. I heard that they were looking to get rid of him and uh, kind of revamp the show because last year it didn't, it wasn't so hot. The contestants last year were, I think it's the worst I have ever seen. It's so bad that I almost don't even want to watch it this year unless they made some changes. Ah, who am I kidding? Oh, I'm gonna watch it anyway. I fucking love The Apprentice. It's so good. Oh, it's fucking, it's so fucking ridiculous, but I love it. I don't like Alan Sugar either. I, 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 I really don't like him. I used to, when I didn't know much about him, I didn't, I, I didn't mind him. I thought, oh, you know, whatever. He makes all these dad jokes and stuff, but... Now that I know more about him, I, I don't like him. Honestly, I think um I think if they if they um got rid of him and just got Karen Brady to do it, it'd be fine. Uh, she's pretty good. Do 
Dame Karen Brady. That's Dame Karen Brady. Dame Brady to you. Remember when she was like, we're not friends. You call me Dame Brady. <laughs> oh man, that's good. One of them tried to call her Karen. Yeah, I, Karen's a bit awkward sometimes too, but I think she's got to play up for it a bit, you know? She's got to be a bit of a hard ass, because the... Uh, All, all, the, all of the past, um, you know, Alan Sugar assistants have been hard asses as well, right? Claude would be, Claude would be good, yeah, but I think Claude is, uh, he's got like a bunch of health issues and stuff, doesn't he now? He have like a, a, an accident and he was out for the last one mostly and... Yeah, Nick was great. He hosted Countdown for a while, too, didn't he, Nick? He went on to host Countdown after. I'm going to finish up the rest of this. I actually am enjoying doing this, but we have to... Uh we have to unload these first. Get out of here. Um, let's, um, wait, how do I, how do I eject this now? Reset, lower harvester, fold harvester, turn off automatic drop, unload the unfinished bale. Job done. Okay. Alright. We want to return our least items now. We'll return this one. Leaving. This one. It's ready for another another year of standing by. I just leave it sitting in the field for a year pretty much, yeah. We could maybe just sell the harvester and just lease lease the cotton harvesters. It might make more sense to actually lease them. Although we will lose a bunch of money selling this one now. But yeah, we don't use them for anything else. They're they're very specific tool. Costs twenty four grand to lease one. Yeah, twenty four K each. Yeah, it's a lot. The field itself uh, makes about a hundred and twenty K in bales. Uh, which then go on to make probably triple that in uh, clothing sales, so it's a lot, but Work. Yeah, I just can't do it. 
can't I can't do anything else with it. You bought a diffuser because of me, it's great. Yeah. Shit, that reminds me actually, I need to plug mine in. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Fuck, it really It's especially nice now that Terry's back because it stinks. I love him. But God he reeks. The diffuser takes the edge off for sure. Yeah, I watched the Prison Architect 2 uh, trailer earlier. It looks it looks okay. I'll, we'll, we'll see when it comes out, I guess. I mean, it's exciting that there's another one coming out. I just hope that it's not bad. But we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, multiple floors could be really good, yeah. I'm looking forward to implementing my my patented shit shave shower combo in a multi-floored prison. No wonder if that'll work in 3D. God, I hope it does. nudity like the sims no i th I, I, do I doubt it dowie i think they're just gonna if anything it's gonna be like in glory you're gonna see every drop of oil on every cock like in glorious 4k it's gonna be incredible at least from the trailer that's what it looked like it was gonna be the case pixelated down to my knees they would have to pixelate down to my feet and then part of the ground behind me as well I played a little bit of cult of the lamb yeah yeah I liked it actually I don't know why I didn't continue I think I got sidetracked and was playing some other stuff it was pretty fun for a bit I did a, I did a pivot. All right, that's the cotton harvest complete in record time. God, I can't believe it. Just gotta finish this mulching. We can do some um, more of the field prep throughout the winter since we're not uh, not actually planting until February, so we can kind of stage out some of the prep if we don't want to do it all in one day. Um, and then with some of the money that we get, I think we'll probably want to um, we'll probably want to pick up a, either a bigger uh, planter that we can then use for other stuff too, or double up on the planter that we have already because it's going to take a while to plant this field. Uh, it took lo it took long last year to plant it. See you later, foot sandwich.
I'm mulching. Whoa, baby. Teagles, are you, do you enjoy the process of mulching? Are you a mulcher? has a mulching video that he wants me to look at? Okay, Teagles, how long is it? Is my first question. And my second question is, is it just a video of me mulching? So I'd just be watching myself mulching? For 12 minutes? This is the last job to do in October. All of the uh, all of the cotton has been delivered to the uh, spinnery as well, right? Can I give you a Hearthstone Battlegrounds recent update, but in the style of French Canadian ice hockey broadcast? Um, I'm too lazy to do the style of the French Canadian um, hockey broadcast, but I can tell you, Jim, that I am uh, I'm still hovering at around. 6400 MMR. I played a couple of games last night. I played one game today as well, actually. No, I played two games today. And uh, I got uh, top three finishes in both the games I played today. Uh, with mechs. I, I feel like mechs are pretty good situationally, right? No, they're not always good, but depending on which tribes are in, they can be kind of good. Two whole games, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I just played two games today. Um, and I played a, a few games last night before I went to bed, too. I had a second place mech run last night. They're my favorite because they're sound design. I love the little mech noises. They work really well with... Um... I had a game yesterday where I had the... Uh, you know the hero that has the uh, the buddy? The, uh, the tour manager one? Elite Tour and Chieftain Tour Manager or whatever, and you get the buddy. I had the buddy that gives, um, that makes a buddy golden, and I was using the, the buddy that makes a buddy golden on the buddy that gives, when golden, plus two health to everything in the tavern when something dies. And I had mechs with all the little mechs that come out. Holy crap, I should have seen that my tavern, like... <laughs> Uh, every unit I bought had like a hundred health. It was insane. It was really fun. That yeah, was good. I lost though. Well, I mean, I didn't. Well, I didn't first place. I got like I think I was like third place on that game, but uh, it's still pretty good.
Yeah, the Venomous mechanic is way better, Jimmy, right? Still sucks to lose to it, though, sometimes. You spend, spend all game building up, like, huge units, only to have, like, a, you know, five attack, two health frog kill you. Uh, the other one I the other one that I hate, but luckily she can only do it once when she's not golden, is that one that um, turns her target into a 3-3. Three, three. The elemental uh, quill bore one. Oh my god. So many times. You got a big taunt and then she just fucking one shots. It's so annoying. I mean, you can play around her, I suppose, because you got all those spells that can remove taunt from a uh, minion and stuff. I had a game where somebody was, I knew, I knew that the guy I was coming up against was uh, was using like two of them, and I had a big taunt with a divine shield, but I I just detaunted him, went into the fight with no taunts, and then luckily she just. Both of her hits were just on, like, random shit that didn't matter. And I whooped his ass. It was really nice. I've never played Legends of Runeterra, no. Is that still going? That's the uh, League of Legends card game, right? I thought it was done, or it's or didn't do very well, or... I remember when it came out, a bunch of people were playing it, but I haven't really seen anybody play it since. It's quite popular, huh? TFT is, is quite popular, but, uh, like, it doesn't seem to get, like, crazy views on, on Twitch. But I, I guess it's kind of one of those things that you probably watch on YouTube, right? Kind of like, uh... A bit like Battlegrounds, right? You want to watch games where people have won so you can copy their builds. Yeah, I find, I, I find TFT pretty unwatchable as well. I've played it a little bit. Well, I mean, I don't even really find it play... Like, I, I find it's difficult. For, uh, for the type of game that it is... You gotta be really quick, right? You have to... Like, it, you, you almost do need, like, a fairly high APM to play it. Okay, remind me there's a little bit at the top of the field that I have to go back and get. top of the field I have to go back and get. Okay, thanks, Teagles. I completely forgot. I've tattooed it onto my chest. So that I... All I gotta do is look down at my chest. And remember... I did it upside down, yeah, so that I can read it. I'm looking down at my my six pack. After watching Crip play Hearthstone for so long, it looked like he had the soul sucked out of him. He's still playing it, right? He was playing a bunch of Diablo 4 when it came out, I think. But is he just back on Hearthstone now? I don't think anybody plays Diablo 4 anymore, do they? Seasons haven't been that great.
the next Diablo 4 season might be good? Why, what's, uh, what's in the next season? Has it had, um, like, a lot of patches and stuff? Like, it, I mean, when I played it, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. What kind of stuff has, I mean, it's been, what, a year? More? Since it came out? When did it come out again? Oh, did it come out in the summer? Oh, June 2023. Okay, so it hasn't even been out a year yet. I felt like it came out, like, uh, in October or something, but I guess you're right, June. Um, has, um... Other than seasons, not much has been added, right? Is uh is this is the season stuff in Diablo 4 still like you you roll a new seasonal character and then uh, when the season is done that character just goes back into your normal pool All right The PoE2 is getting closer, right? People are there's a lot of, like, uh, seems like a lot of positivity around that. I'll go up and do this last smidge for this bit. Look, you can clearly see. Oh, no, that's not even it. There it is. I see it. You heard from a reliable source that PoE2 has a really bad computer virus embedded in it. It's best to just never, ever play it again. Well, I, what do you mean again? I've never even played it. It's not even out, Jim. But yeah, I heard about that as well, actually. I heard it's a really bad virus. It comes, it ships with a virus. Um, that infects not only your computer, but it infects your brain as well and makes you uh, want to just grind the balls off of uh, every dungeon that you come across using your favorite build. Ice Blast. My Ice Blast build. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a educational video about my Ice Blast build. I came up with this build myself. Uh, you can see the link in the description. Do you want to feed that into uh, third-party software that helps you um, uh, load a build into the game because the skill trees are so big and uh, overwhelming? Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's the end of my video. Um, make sure you subscribe. Did you know that most of my viewers don't even subscribe to me? That's why you should subscribe today right now ring that bell top 10 things that you might have missed from uh, all of the PoE2 footage you might have seen My subscribers aren't viewers anymore since so there's nothing to watch. What do you mean there's nothing to watch? There's such, all this perfectly good farming content to watch. Yeah, I check my YouTube analytics every day. I'm trying to figure out how to break the code. You know? This year is my year. I'm gonna finally do it, guys gonna be crazy
I'm gonna I'm gonna start the year by announcing that I'm officially retiring from masturbating more than five times a day. I'm gonna cut down a little bit. Max four. Yes, that's right. You heard it here first. And it gets better. Now that I'm a bit older, I'm unable to suck my own dick, so I won't be doing that anymore. I've retired, officially retired, from sucking my own cock. Because my big belly gets in the way, I cannot physically do it anymore. <laughs> it was a good run. I know, I know. Let's salute me. Let's give it up. You know what? We, we gotta introduce big ups for, for the day like we do on the Triforce. Let's give it up for me. Because without me, let's face it, we wouldn't even be here. I certainly wouldn't. Just remove a rib? Uh, that's a myth. Uh, that does not happen. That doesn't happen. <laughs> remove all my ribs. <laughs> I'm gonna remove all my ribs and my spine as well. Okay, good. Uh, cotton one is mulched, but uh, it will need to be uh, prepared more. But we can uh, we can advance time a little bit now. We can, uh, we can go into... I didn't feed the sheep, but it's fine. They've got grass. I think we might be mowing tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning since it's... <laughs> it, skipped, it skipped forward like 10 minutes in game because it wasn't even 9 o'clock yet. Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay. Sleeping's not currently possible. Oh, i got to wait till it's not 9 o'clock in the morning. Gotta wait for one minute to pass, I think. Let's take a look at all of this. It needs rolling. What? Oh, it's just the corner. The corner hasn't been rolled. Let's see. Look at this. Yield potential, 125%. Expected yield, 121%. Don't know why it's so low. Where's Dowie Spa Day and my bowling ball? Fuck, I think they must have gotten lost in the mail. Like, I'm sure I sent them. Mm. Alright, let's see how much money we make from the turbine this month. October. October. Ten thousand six hundred and eight big ones. That's crazy. So we're selling the rest of our eggs today. There's fourteen grand's worth of eggs left in storage. Um, cotton. There's a hundred and twenty-four thousand liters. We've got twenty-six thousand liters of wool. We got 34,000 liters of flour still. We still have 84,000 liters of barley in uh, in storage. Canola oil, we still have 110,000 liters. There's seven crates of canola oil that needs to spawn still. Because I think the thing is full up. The paper is looking good. And furniture has loads of planks. Oh yeah, I need to check these. Uh... This one's still going. It's got 10,000 wood left. Good. Oh, and... The like grass one is... ready to cut. But I think we'll try to cut it tomorrow. I don't think it's actually... yellow tinged ready to cut. Let me go check. I'm running.
No. One more stage. Let's uh Let's go till till December and see if it uh, if it does advance the stage because it should grow for the rest of November. So December we should be able to do a cut. A full cut. Great. All right. Let's um deliver the goods to our warehouse and sell the eggs and the jumbo toilet papers. Sounds like a song that would be on like Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Okay, there's all the honey. Filling that side up. Sell these paper rolls. Let's go start um, unloading all the eggs from storage so we can sell them. While we're doing that, actually, we want this guy. Oh no. Collision detected. Might as well start cultivating this, and uh, I think we'll get another lime spreader. We need to. Uh... We 
we need to move away from big bags at some point too for all this stuff, right? It's so annoying having to refill stuff with big bags. So this guy can do uh, left. Two tools, no bypass, one headland. Row skipping to make it faster as well, yeah. All right, so this guy can start on the left. And this guy can start on the right. Cultivating. Eggs? Eggs. Not bread. There's no more eggs in here. Okay. No more eggs? These are the last of our eggs. Remember when we used to have chickens? Where are we selling these? Silver run. Yeah, we had some chickens. We had uh, 360 chickens. And they used to lay quite a few eggs until we got annoyed by the eggs and sold all the chickens. And now we've sold all of their eggs as well. We no longer are a producer of eggs. Yes, sheep. Yes. Nice. Dudes in Alaska in a new game called Winter Survival? I haven't seen anything more than IGM preview, but it looks pretty decent. Winter Survival, okay.
let's fill up the the paper the paper mill lads working so hard together to get the job done God. absolutely incredible Okay, remember, uh, try to remember that the, uh, that the class is, uh, right. The fence is left. Don't forget already, Dowie, this important info, this will be the first thing that we set back going tomorrow morning when I, uh, when I resume. Thank you, Erica, thank you very much. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, it'll be on the test, you're right. That's it. It'll take a little while to prep this field. We need to get, um... actually, what's on sale? There is a header on sale. We need um... probably to pick up one of these, another one of these. This is the bigger one can hold way more lime. I don't think there's any options for transporting a shit ton of lime and then giving it, uh, like you can't use, for example, um, one of these for lime. You can for seed and fertilizer. This one does like silage and stuff. But yeah, there's no op like like this. Imagine having one of these filled with lime and you could just come in like... <laughs> or one of these teagles, you like this? You like a walkabout mother bin? 141,000 liters of, uh, of goods? It's pretty nice. This one's actually cheaper than this one and the capacity is like double. Crazy. The day I buy that thing, it better be a moment. I mean, I could buy it right now. I just wouldn't be able to afford to fill it up with anything. I mean, if we had to fill it up with seed or fertilizer, it would bankrupt us. I hate you. I hate I hate that you've done I hate this. What's he 
doing? I think he wants to be on the right of this. So he should have done this already. Oops. That seems right. line oh because they're skipping where the hell is he where the hell is he going then is this definitely the last line oh yeah it is So he's actually supposed to do this bit and then come over and do this bit. Productions and stuff are looking good, and there's nothing else to sell today. The next thing we sell tomorrow will be canola oil. There's 171 grand's worth of canola oil in storage right now. There'll be another. Uh, there'll be another um, 10,000 liters of it produced uh, this month too. Next uh, next harvest, we're gonna have a shit ton of canola in the summer. And then we can start upping the production, right? Because we'll be able to have more. Who is on the right? The class is on the right. It's, it's the class. Class. He's skipping. He's skipping a row. It makes his turning time and everything so much fat. Look at this guy go. Incredible. All right. Chat, I gotta go. I'll save my game. We'll resume uh, tomorrow. We're not doing Triforce tomorrow, so I should be on early-ish. We can do some more farming then, yes? We have um, spring and, uh, and summer to work towards. We also need to plant uh, cotton in February. We're just getting the field prep. Uh, we'll get another um, lime spreader to make that uh, a bit quicker we're going to need it for the the big canola field uh when we prep that field so it's going to take forever so we'll buy that and then we'll 
think about buying another uh, planter for cotton as well. And then we're going to have to get, oh man, maybe we should just get a big alger wagon and fill it with seeds. Um, and then we can just get peewee to run uh, fertilizer for now. Uh, because I can't afford to fill one. But I might be able to afford to uh, to fill uh, one with seeds. Actually, we could probably just feed it with uh, with the big bags that we have so far. Maybe give it a little top up, and that should last us for a little while, right? It'd be a little bit easier to fill it up from that than uh, than to do it with big bags, which takes forever. Oh man, so much to do. Chat, sorry for the short stream. Sorry for the late start, but at least we got um, the cotton harvest done, and we should uh, look forward to making some white t-shirts. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support as well. Thanks for the subs and the resubs and the donations. I hope you have a good one, and I'll be back tomorrow morning, and we'll do some more then, yes? Okay, chat. LOL. Lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.